The biggest part of theater is the lighting design. Um, lighting can impact how the audience perceives the mood of the overall scene and the overall um, emotions that the characters are expressing. You come into the space without anything there and it's you're, you're creating an atmosphere and bringing the audience into a atmosphere that that wasn't there before and you, you can create a lot of magic, magical moments. What's up, my name's Ian Ye. I am the lighting technician slash electrician slash spotlight operator for Frozen, the Broadway musical here at Westview High School. In this video, I'm going to be showing the almost full process of the lighting behind this show. I hope you enjoy. Firstly, the stage lights. So we used four main lights to illuminate the show. We used color source spots that produces a more focused directional beam of light, color source pars that produces a wider area of light, which is ideal for larger areas, color source psychs that produces an even wash on the psych, which is basically the backdrop, and elation da Vinci moving headlights that produces a moving beam that can create various lighting effects. But we have to know where to hang them. So in the theater world, lighting plots basically show us lighting text where the lights need to be hung. This is a lighting plot designed by Blair, our lighting designer. If you look above the stage, you can see four electric battens where we can hang lights off of. For example, on the first electric, the plot called for a color source par to be hung center stage. If we then take a tape measure and measure from center stage or where that par is at, we can see that a moving head da Vinci had it to be installed three feet from center stage. Additionally, if we click into any lights, we can see what lens needed to be installed on that light. For example, this light needed a 36 degree lens. And now we can just hang the lights according to the plot. We then daisy chained and got all the lights connected. We also did some cable management to keep things tidy. Following that, we went through and focused and pointed all the lights. Then, Blair spent a few nights designing and programming the show so that our lighting lead Parker can run through the cues during the show. Secondly, the ice pillars. There are these ice pillars that can be seen throughout the show. They are basically just wooden pillars with bases that are on wheels. The front panel where light shines through is just roofing panels painted with semi-opaque paint. As for lighting, we used Chave Freedom Pars in the center of each pillar. Thirdly, the ice shards. This was Blair's design for the ice shards that would fly in during the show. For this, we used PVC pipes and roofing panels. We followed the design and bent each angle to spec. We duplicated it for the two sides. After the PVC pipe frames were complete, we got the roofing panels cut and fastened down to the frames. Next, the panels were painted a semi-opaque color. Then we added a LED strip to the frames. Lastly, Fly Crew was able to hang them, and then I got them wired to the controller. This was the final product. Anyways, that's all of the behind the scenes stuff. Here are a few clips from the show. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and have a lightful day.